In this video, we're going to learn how to find the inverse of a function. Suppose I have the function f of x equals 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 5. This is a one-to-one -one function. When a function is one-to-one, -one, that means that every element of the range corresponds to exactly one element of the domain. To find the inverse of our given function, we begin by replacing f of x with y. So now we have y equals 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 5. Our next step is to interchange variables x and y. So we have x equals 3y plus 2 divided by y minus 5. Now, we solve our equation for y. I'll begin by multiplying both sides of the equation by y minus 5. In other words, distributing y minus 5 through the equation. This allows me to cancel the y minus 5 terms on the right. Now I have y minus 5 times x equals 3y plus 2. I'll distribute x through y minus 5. So I have xy minus 5x equals 3y plus 2. Now I need to keep in mind my goal, which is solving the equation for y. In order to do this, I need one term containing y, but here I have two. In order to resolve this, I'm going to get both of my terms containing y on one side of the equation. So I'll subtract 3y from both sides. This gives me xy minus 3y minus 5x equals 2. Now I'll take the term not containing y, my 5x, and add it to both sides. So after I add 5x to both sides, I'm left with xy minus 3y equals 2 plus 5x. I still have two terms containing y, but I can resolve that by factoring y out of the two terms. So now it will look like this. y times x minus 3, because we factored the GCF of y out of both terms, equals 2 plus 5x. Our final step to isolate y on the left side of the equation is to divide x minus 3 from both sides. This leaves me with y equals 2 plus 5x divided by x minus 3. Finally, I'll replace y with notation for f inverse. So I'll say f inverse of x equals 2 plus 5x divided by x minus 3. Now we've completed the problem. I hope you found the video helpful, and we'll see you next time.